Okay, we're gonna talk about the directional terms anterior and posterior and answer the questions, what are the definitions for anterior and posterior and what ways are they used in anatomy? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So first of all, the word anterior or ventral means towards the front and posterior or dorsal means towards the back. Even though ventral and dorsal are terms that have a different meaning in embryology, in anatomy, they're synonymous with anterior and ventral, posterior and dorsal. So let's practice. In anatomical position, the hand points anteriorly. In other words, the hand points towards the front. The sternum is blank to the vertebral column. Well, the sternum is in front of the vertebral column, so the sternum is anterior. The vertebral column is blank to the sternum. Well, it's behind, so the vertebral column is posterior to the sternum. How about this? Identify the most likely name for the following muscle. Is it the latissimus dorsi, latissimus lateralis, latissimus medialis, or latissimus ventri? The answer, latissimus dorsi. The term dorsi means dorsal or on the back. A latissimus is a really broad muscle. Here is a cross section of the L1 spinal cord level. That is called the dorsal horn of the gray matter. What is this one called? Based upon the dorsal horn, that's the horn in the back. This one is the ventral horn, the one towards the front. They're also called the posterior horn and anterior horn. How about this step to section of the neck on the right side, where that muscle is called the middle scaling, and this muscle is called the anterior scaling. And what do you think that one is called? You got it, the posterior scaling muscle. Now identify the letter on this axial CT that indicates the posterior region of this patient. Well, let's look for something that makes me makes us smile. That's a vertebra, the vertebral column. That makes me smile because if that's the vertebral column, it's on the posterior region of this patient, which makes D the most posterior region of this patient. And that, my friends, are the terms anterior and posterior in a nutshell.